Hey guys, Dirt and Rest here. Um, just got back from the flea market. Uh, I think this might be my most epic tool haul ever. Um, I ended up paying 30 bucks for a huge chest of old rusty tools, hammers. Um, so much I could, couldn't even carry it. <clears throat> so, uh, end up having to drive my car into the flea market to get all this stuff. They actually packed in a bunch of more stuff. Um, $30, I got a bunch of stuff. I filled my car up with who knows what, but a bunch of uh, rusty, cool tools and who knows what. It's going to be fun to go through. Um, so let's go check it out. Here we go. All right, guys, here's the big chest that was filled with tools I got a lot of them in the back I had to pull a lot of the tools out to even get this thing in the car it was uh, beyond heavy I couldn't imagine it's I couldn't even estimate how heavy it was but I had to take everything out this is what's left in the chest right now I had to take that much out just to be able to lift it in the car I didn't want to break my back but we have a lot of a lot of stuff to go through so all that stuff that was in there ends up back here in a deep pile all right so I got stuff in other parts of my car as well they literally hooked me up for 30 bucks they just started piling th things in said hey you want this want this I'm like sure I'll take it you know let's see what we got here so my car is full there's another some stuff down there stuff down there another box of I have, there's a box of records down here um, some guy was trying to he's like is there any beetles in there let me can i look at them and i was just trying to get stuff in my car and get out of there and i was like no i gotta i gotta see what i have so And then we got this, this box here, full of stuff. And then there's stuff down here. So basically, I would say that's not bad for uh, 30 bucks. I don't know what you guys think. But uh, I'm gonna have to pull all this stuff out here and uh, start organizing and see what I have. All right. We'll check it out here in a sec. Alright guys, you can see my living room is a total wreck right now, but uh, this is most of the stuff that I got all laid out. Um, down here I got a bunch of records, there's like good 30 vintage records down here or more. And who knows what I have in here, I have no idea. Hopefully a Beatles White Album or something like that would be nice. Some illustrations there, baskets, there were some photos in there, this, uh, miscellaneous stuff, cuckoo clocks, first aid quick kit, I'll go to the tools after, here in a little bit, just want to show the other miscellaneous stuff. There's some uh, old photos. There might be more photos in the in this folder over here. Different. There's some Star Wars 
figurine things right there. Um, there was this uh, old fire extinguisher. And there's the chest that I got all this stuff out of. Miscellaneous knickknacks. The closer you look, you find cool stuff. It's just there's so much of it. I don't know. It's going to take a while to go through all this. See what's valuable. See what's going to go in the garage sale. There's a ton of hammers. And they're so cool. I'm still just in non-belief about how much stuff I got for $30. It's going to really be fun to go through all this stuff. But I'll try to show you guys a few things that are in here. There's an old Zapco reel. Not that old. But... Isn't that cool? That level. The bubble's working in there. I checked it. These hammers. Vagon hammers. There's a few Vagon hammers here that I just noticed off the top. So, looks like an old car horn. Some sort of a valve. Pot lids. Uh, the scale. Pinion bows. Base for something. Look at all these hammers. I'll try to gather up. Maybe I'll do a separate video on all the hammers that I got. There's got to be. I don't know. I'm thinking there's 25 hammers, maybe or more. Let's see. That's a cool hacksaw right there. Thinner than most. Pipe wrench. This drill. Uh, I unscrewed the top here. It has the drill bits in it. A lot of sledgehammers. Here. Bunch of sledgehammers. Initially, here's the axe. Uh, when I first went, I asked the lady how much this axe was, and she said three bucks. And I said, okay, I'll buy it. And then I went and I found the chest, and they wanted uh, thirty-five dollars for this whole chest full of tools. And I offered thirty, and they took it. And then they gave me all kinds of extra stuff. But initially, I was just going to buy this thing and walk away. Because it had a, had a name here that I saw. I can't really read it right now. But, um... I'll have to show you guys the details a little bit later. But, uh... That was an epic haul for sure. I say it? let me let me go look at the cuckoo clocks real quick I don't know if these are 
valuable or not. I know some of them that are made in Germany could be valuable, so I have to look into these as well. Hey guys, Dirt and Rust here. <clears throat> Doing a continuation of my last video, the Epic Tool Hall, $30 flea market tool hall. And I'm starting to kind of get things a little bit organized here. And uh, so I'll kind of show you some of the stuff that's uh, kind of separated out. I've got all these hammers here. These are all claw hammers. And there's a bunch of them here. There's probably, I don't know, 10 there, maybe. So that was all in those halls. I haven't really got close enough to check out Maker's Marks and stuff. And uh, these over here are more uh, framer, hammers style. There's a couple of Vagons in there. So all those hammers were in there. Um, and I separated out the ball peen hammers, which there's uh, maybe just a couple of ball peen hammers in there. And I still have to go through them and look for makeup marks and such. But, you know, there's got to be 20 or so. I don't know. Looks like maybe 20 or so in there. And then uh, a bunch of these miniature seed plants. And I got some uh, sledgehammer down here. I got a bunch of the sheet metal nippers. about I don't know ten of those I guess and I haven't looked at the maker marks or anything like that or the condition too closely got some a couple of hand drills here I just put in this pile everything that has a hook to it, so. You know the lighting's bad in here. I have things scattered all over the place, so. Sorry about that. The quality's not that good, but. Got these, um, I forgot the proper name for these. But I know they cut grass with them and stuff. Is it a sieve? I forgot. A sieve? Yeah, maybe it's a sieve. Um, <clears throat> towing stuff here. This is a, like a towing receiver. You got the tow, towing balls there. A towing receiver. All right, a couple of flashlights that were in there. Okay, this is like garage sale stuff. Uh, I went through the albums, and there's some pretty cool stuff in there. I don't know much about albums, but there's a lot of really, uh, really cool stuff. Linda Ronstadt, um, a lot of stuff from the '70s. Um, I have to research and figure out I need to even get a record player to test these out on but there's really you know I might do a separate video and just show those videos sep or the those records separately some 
artwork there. A few containers and stuff. Old newspapers, pictures. I got a. This is all music in this case. All music. Wish I could play that music. It looks pretty complex. Amazing that people can actually read that. Looks like an alien language to me. Got some old Chilton's car manuals. Uh, Ford. Let's see, this 1968 through 85. Got pickups. 65 through 86. Got a Cadillac. Still got some of the plastic on it. Sixty-seven to eighty-nine. Some miscellaneous stuff, a lid. Go in here for Fastening links together. Looks like an emblem for something. Rock. Rock. Mm, rock something. I don't know. Nice base for something. Pretty cool. It's got some markings here, but I don't think I have the lighting to look at it right now. Right. Yeah, I really can't get into that right now. Um, here's a, looks like for an old car to hold a headlight in. Uh, there's a number on here, so I'm going to look that up and see what car part, what car, uh, this belong to. There's some Star Wars toys here. Who's that? Yoda, of course. Chewbacca. Sorry the lighting's bad guys, it's just uh I just gotta make do with what I have here. Um old hacksaws here. I really like this one for some reason. It's just a different shape, it's thinner. <clears throat> Pipe wrench. Looks like some uh kind of auto finishing. Um, what do they call those? Uh, yeah, for um, finishing cars, I forgot there's a name for them. Lure container, Zabco reel. Some pruners with no handles. Miscellaneous stuff. Who knows what that is? It says Hockey 4 on it. No idea. Oh, we got like an old phone bell here. If I can get that to ring. Looks like a meat grinder's parts. We got an old horn for a car. Saw blades. 
um, looks like something to bake something in. GMC emblem, strange weird pencils. <clears throat> Hang on, I'm going to take these out, take a closer look at them. Hard in the darkness there for a second. Just thought these were kind of weird. They're um, Duro light, but look at the ends of them for holding lead. And we got these little, I don't know why these are in there. These are like chrome caps from cars. I think. Or for uh, bike tires or something. Those are just mixed in there. Duralite. All right. Push those aside. First aid kit here. Bailey's. Okay. Inside here, everything is uh, okay. Everything in here is um, looks pretty much untouched. All right, hold on, guys. Sorry. All right, here we go. Everything in there is. Looks unused. Looks kind of ugly, but unused. That's pretty cool. All right, moving on. I think I showed this valve earlier. Got this. Uh, oh. This is pretty cool. My grandmother had one of these. You just. Uh, Go to K if you know somebody with the last name starts with the K, it goes to that. I used to play with these all the time when I was a kid. Go down to R. It shows all the stuff that's in R. Really cool. And some plates. Just knickknacks. See here. Plex Deloy. Plexolian toilet infant camphor spirits. Got this old thermos. Oasis. Looks so, I know it looks like it's from the fifties or something. Uh, looks like a little cigarette tray here. Tony R. Silva. Some uh, cigarette tray for business. I remember that seafood, or not seafood, fish food from when I was a kid. And a beat up wooden car there. Got a couple of uh, these are both Stanley, I believe. Levels. And this is the box that everything came in. Got a coffee bag there. Um, some other knickknacks, Main Street. Got some knives here. 
cards. Uh, Bapalu toy. There's the Bapalu toy. Got some cologne. Kind of Avon looking cologne vehicles there. The cable car. Some kind of a crushing utensil. I got a creamer top here for pouring a creamer and coffee. Old school. And we got all these parts and pieces and it does look like some of these are made in Germany. So it says Germany there. Looks like Germany there. I see the little bird in there. But they're pretty messed up. I mean, there's stuff falling off of them. I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff. The backs of them. Let me look. I'll show you the back. As I figure all that out, that's that's a lot of. Uh, it's got. Uh, it's got the winding weight here. Which, that that could be worth some bucks. I don't know. It's something I have to research. So we'll see what see what happens. But uh, Corvette Black Book. 1953-1987 cable car thing there um, see if that motion detector works I might try to use that and uh, let's see what this is a quick quick a loo quick aid quick aid Fire extinguisher. Somebody, high school graduation thing, it has a picture of all these awesome cars in there. There's the diploma, 1963. These are really cool sculptures. I'm gonna probably keep those. And uh, some photographs. Look at this one with the guy with the big old fish there. And this one was really cool. It's part of a picture, but it looks like some sort of factory. Really cool, even though it's only part of a picture. All right, I pretty much that's what I got. I've refined. And kind of went through the stuff that I have and I'm going to keep going through it but that's I believe this is going to be the part two and maybe there might be another part after this I'm not sure but thanks for watching guys bye